NASA successfully averted a problem. Its engineers had sent a wrong signal to Voyager 2 and had lost contact for nearly about 10 days. But the U.S. Space Agency has successfully reconnected with its space probe after a brief scare. And our next port gets you more details. Voyager 1 and 2, planetary explorers. They are the farthest human-made object sent into space. But NASA had a brief heart attack after losing contact with Voyager 2. The U.S. space agency happily announced that it had been able to re-establish contact. NASA lost contact with the space probe on July 21st after a series of planned commands inadvertently caused Voyager 2 to angle its antenna away from Earth. Launched in 1977 by NASA, it is currently located at a distance of 19.9 billion kilometers from Earth. After an astonishing 45-year odyssey through the cosmos, this awe-inspiring spacecraft continues to thrive, beaming valuable data back to Earth each day. In 2018, Voyager 2 boldly ventured into the realm of interstellar space, surpassing the boundary that marks the Sun's sphere of influence and embracing the vastness of the galaxy. Also, what's more interesting to know is that it had the latest technology of its time. NASA's engineers equipped the vehicle's computers with 69 kilobytes of memory. That's less than a hundred thousandth the capacity of your mobile phone. Originally envisioned for a mere four-year expedition, the Voyager missions have far exceeded all expectations providing us with unprecedented and spellbinding close-up vistas of Jupiter and Saturn's mesmerizing moons. These ethereal snapshots have revealed dynamic volcanoes and intricate ice fields, a testament to the boundless wonders that await us in the depths of the universe. Voyager 2 is now floating on its own, almost 20 billion kilometers from Earth. It is carrying a 30 centimeters gold-plated copper disc engraved with music and photographs meant to represent Earth and its humans to any intelligent beings the spacecraft meet on their long journeys. Slowly, Voyager 2's systems are being shut down to eke out the power as long as possible. But sometime in the 2030s, there will be none left. However, even after both Earth's messengers stop communicating with Mother Planet, they will continue their endless journey. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.